Today, I'll explain about uh, mobile application testing interview questions. In interviews, if they ask like uh, when performing end-to-end uh, -end mobile application testing and uh, what are the major criteria are taken into consideration when you test on your application. So maybe if you put around two or three years of experience in uh, mobile application testing. So this is the important question. Here, major areas of any mobile application, any mobile application is installation and uninstallation. Yeah, without installation, you can't test the application. Okay, so that's why installation is the major role here so if you install that application then only you can test your application so that's why the major roles are major areas are installation and uninstallation of application definitely after install you can check the uninstallation of the application then First time launching the application without having network. Uh, we can test the application like uh, with net and uh, without internet. Uh, there are a uh, uh, lot of uh, types of applications are there. If the application is related to hybrid or it is related to uh, web only or it is related to internet application definitely we can check with internet and without internet let's take like a facebook facebook you can install the application through internet only without internet you can't installation we can't download that application at the same time without internet it's very difficult to chart okay so that's why it's mandatory like that for any application we can check in lot of ways uh, with internet uh, for some applications like uh, games uh, or uh, notepad like that uh, with internet you can download that application and you installation that one and after without internet you can do your work on that and uh, for any application it's a need and performance testing uh, because of uh, if you develop an application like uh, uh, if it is not a proper response means uh, whenever the end user clicks into your links uh, if it will open around uh, more than uh, two minutes or three minutes uh, end users will maybe convert to the other applications uh, so that's why performance of any application is a uh, mandatory if you develop like your application with a uh, good functionality and uh, good usability and uh, ui but if without performance there is no use of that application so whenever you have to develop a application it's a need for that application the performance then only end users will increase and they have to inform to other persons also please do, uh, download this application and work on that it's a very nice application like that so testing the application responses how it is responding when invalid user credentials are provided at any point of time if you enter like a invalid credentials definitely it shows a pop-up message please enter a correct credentials or a valid credentials like that if you mention proper uh, validation messages then it will useful to end users uh, otherwise if you don't if you don't show any pop up messages uh, when he entered uh, like a invalid it's a uh, very difficult to use the end users that application uh, we can check with a different ways of testing for any application 
try to change them after installation next what are the things needs to be consideration while testing ios application yes during testing make sure that you have tested all scenarios on real devices at least once it is a mandatory for to test uh, in live devices in real devices uh, without uh, real devices uh, you can uh, release the application maybe end users will get uh, more problems because uh, we can test in emulator simulator and uh, uh, automation uh, cloud lot of things are there but whenever you have to test in uh, real device then only you can identify more issues so it is the mandatory thing definitely in interviews uh, they ask like are you tested in any real device you say like yes i tested in real devices at end of time okay then to fast the execution take help of emulator to execute the test cases uh, which will save the time do profiling to find the memory leaks before testing on real device uh, yes but real device is the important thing before we can test in anywhere but finally we will can test in real device make sure that all versions and on all devices application to should gets tested yeah if you open like a cloud you uh, there are lot of mobiles are available you can uh, uh, open your application in that all devices and they have to mention the versions also so uh, like uh, um android present lollipop so if you develop any application you can test in lollipop maybe the versions of 5.0 5.1 uh, and latest uh, 5.1.1 is also there so we can test in all versions but uh, it is very difficult to test in uh, real devices so you, you can test in through cloud because of them uh, uh, in cloud uh, that uh, new versions are available do not forget to make sure that application as follows all human interface guidelines provided by apple yes, there are lot of uh, guidelines uh, uh, the apple and android has provided so make sure we have to follow them if you follow them the applications will give good response from end users analyze the dumps means crash reports if you store like a, uh, your uh, cache crash reports uh, then only it is a, a very useful because of uh, when you get any issues while testing an ios application on any device we need consider like uh, one application functionality the application functionality means the functional testing is a mandatory thing you can uh, test your functional testing uh, based on your uh, srs document or any uh, brs anything related to your functionality or otherwise if already it was available in uh, desktop or website applications so when you develop an uh, mobile application you have to follow the same functionality same srs document but the uh, types of testing when you test that application that is different so but the functionality of the application is the same and you can test the configuration settings uh, and impact of uh, other applications uh, like a hardware and application under test like a battery life uh, uh, other applications running with high memory sleep mode you can test everything because of uh, when our application is running uh, if the 
battery removes what happens if a battery uh, like it is in very low condition means around uh, 5 percent are there then how it uh, responds your application and uh, how the memory of the size is very low it's around 2 mb or 3 mb of uh, memory is there in our uh, uh, mobile so how uh, in that situation our uh, application will run and in high if it is around uh, 40 gb or 20 gb it's there so at the time how it works like a lot of things are there to test the application but we can follow everything whenever we have to complete all scenarios and all function of uh, all testing types uh, then uh, you can release your applications to the market uh, then only end users will get uh, more impact on your applications uh, next the testing will be conducted on both hardware and software one r and d testing factory testing certificate testing these are needs factory testing factory testing is a kind of a sanity check on mobile devices it's conducted automatically to verify that there are no defects brought by the manufacturing or assembling certification testing certification testing is a check uh, before a mobile gives go to market uh, many institutes or governments require mobile devices to conform with their stated specifications uh, protocols to make sure the mobile device will not harm users health are compatible with devices from other manufacturers once the mobile device passes all checks a certification will be issued for it uh, because of whenever they are if you p purchase a mobile it will not harm to your health when users submit a mobile application to application stores or marketplaces it goes through a certification process yeah after complete your application you can take the certification from android if it is ios you can take a certificate from ios and you can uh, upload your application into the marketplaces uh, many of these vendors outsource the testing and certification to third party vendors to increase coverage and lower the costs there are uh, mobile orientations are there uh, protect and landscape mode where the display is uh, taller than it is a uh, wide landscape mode where the display is wider than it is a uh, tall so for uh, if you develop any application you can check like uh, in both orientations uh, but uh, if you observe some uh, like uh, uh, games applications uh, they have to work on only landscape uh, because of uh, uh, the graphics is like that so, so that's why a uh, lot of applications are there only in landscape uh